Hey guys, I made a large decorative floor mirror. This is such a large floor mirror and I really love the way it turned out. And I use cereal boxes. I'd like to share with you guys how easy it is to make this. Now let's go ahead and get started. I got a mirror from Walmart. And then I will be using a large trifle board. This is the size. And then I split it into two so that I can actually cover up the mirror. Now this is the mirror that I'm going to be covering at the back. And all I'm trying to do here is trying to see how I can gauge the boards that I just cut to perfectly fit at the back and give me enough room for the outer designs. I took away the mirror and right here where the two boards meet, I'm going to be covering them up with tape. Now to keep the back thick enough, since it's going to be a floor mirror, I took foam boards that I got from Walmart because they're way stronger. And then I'm going to be cutting the excess and I will be using two foam boards and a very little piece just to complete the whole thing. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button to make sure you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. Now I'll be using the tape again to close up all the points where the boards meet. And every item that I used for this project will be listed down in the description box below. And now we're going to be gluing down both boards together. This is what both boards glued together look like. And now I took the mirror and I glued it right at the middle. These are acrylic gems that I got from Walmart. And they are self-adhesive. They're so easy to use. But for this particular project, they're going to be falling off because it's wood. And so after I did this, I realized since it's not going to be strong, I need to just secure it properly using a hot glue gun. And that's what I did. I used the hot glue gun all around. These are cereal boxes that I will be using. And this is a fast clip that I got from the other video where I used cereal boxes to make a headboard. So for a better tutorial, you click on the link that will pop up above or the one that I'll be leaving below. For this particular project, I made 24 pieces. So like I said, it's the same thing. So I spray painted these gold and you can see the lines there. It's not a pretty sight and this is where it comes from. So when you're going to be cutting your cereal boxes, do not include these lines. And now I'm going to be gluing down the designs to the frame that I made for the mirror. You're going to keep doing this until you get to the end. You should have something that looks like this. Since it's a floor mirror, you just lean it onto a wall and you're done. This is such a large floor mirror and it makes a bold statement in the home. I'm so glad that I was able to change a mirror that used to look like this into this. 
I really love the way this turned out and it's such a large piece. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about this awesome transformation and if it's something you'd like to try out in your home. And remember to like and share. And also remember to turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on my latest videos. Thank you so much for watching. I have other videos linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.